What's up guys, third gen junkies, you know who it is, Chris. And today, we're going to be doing an uninstallation, reinstallation, or vice versa. Uh, uninstall, reinstall video on the parts car, on the doors. 82 to 92 Camaro, all the doors are the same. Only difference is some have power windows, some do not. So, this. <laughs> All right, tools you need for this job. Three inch ratchet, Phillips screwdriver, 13 millimeter, 15 millimeter sockets, quarter inch drive with a seven millimeter, and a pair of side cutters. So, yeah. So we're gonna work on the passenger door here. So you guys, uh, going on here so with these cars and uh, it looks like I don't think anybody ripped it off but it's weird most of these are usually carpeted with the same style of carpet that's on the floor um, you have a screw here and a screw here and there's one screw here to get to the kick panel because there is one two bolts that go through the bottom door hinge this way and there's one bolt that goes through this way and there's three bolts right there which since the fenders are off, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to get them off. Um, this door, I just realized, is trash because right here, the skin is actually coming loose from the door. That's why if you look, watch, the whole door flexes like that. That's not supposed to happen. It's common that they break and it looked like somebody had tried to tack weld it there at some point. Um, had a gentleman who wanted to buy the doors so he only needs a driver door but i'm going to go ahead and take these both off and um worst case scenario i pull the glass out of this one pull the glass out of that one over there scrap that door scrap this door um drill out the rivets pull this plastic clip and the handle off i know it's weird these get mangled sometimes and people like them but you have to take a grinding wheel and grind these off I'm um, gonna get them off. It takes some time. And window regulator motors, they're garbage. So, um, on this side, you're gonna need the uh, seven millimeter because you have this panel here. There's one here, one here, and one right here. You gotta pull that down so that once you take these screws out, you can access it, pull it forward. Pull it out to be able to access those bolts. So let me go ahead and grab this. And I don't really think you need the extensions, but I grab them just in case. So go ahead and pull these guys out. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like every screw on this car is rusty, like super rusty. <laughs> it's crazy. But I need to get this car cut up and at least over onto the cement slab so I can get the Impala off of the trailer because I can start and move the G6. I can start that, move it out of the way, load everything on the trailer, get rid of that, and that'll make room so I can get going on G6. In mouse poop. Awesome. Yeah, that's nice. Mouse poop all over room and everything. 
everything. And if people you did not know, so your computer is mounted right here. It's up in here with a clip. I don't know why this one's not locked in, but it doesn't really matter. And the only side that you need this seven millimeter for is the passenger side, because the driver's side, you can get the kick panel plastics off without having to um, do anything. And it's weird, I took the one off on that side already. Um, and the screws are like super rusted. But these ones, well the heads of them at least don't look that bad. So, go ahead and these back up here. Grab the fly blade screwdriver. So funny. Brother-in-law always buys me tools to use with the power tools and all that. I never use this stuff. 90% of the time I just use hand tools. <laughs> that's how I was raised. There's like no good way for you guys to make a good view of this. So then I just take the one screwdriver. Do like you normally would. Put your left hand on the top, right hand on it. Spin it or vice versa. Surprisingly, these are basically self-tapping screws. Surprisingly, they're in really good shape on this side of the car. Would it be easier using the Milwaukee drill? Probably. I want to walk all the way back to the truck to get it because the shop space is not done for me to be able to use my tools there. No, not gonna do it. So, a lot of times they'll go all, pull all the way out and then stop. They just stay stuck in the plastic, so it's not a big of a deal. that and then I don't know why sitting down like that but then It's driving me nuts. Okay. The easiest way to get this thing out is once you take this screw out, this is usually sitting on top of this. It's not like that, it's the other way around. Um, so all you do is pull it this way towards you and it'll pull out from under the plastic right there. And if you want, you can slide it out a little bit and then boom, it just drops right out. Just like that and your kick panel is out just that easy and this is basically the screw that was here on this one right here it kind of sucks because it's you can't see the hole when you go to put them back in and it's a pain I mean, look at all that mouse cock out that's so gross and then you got this black stuff here which all of this is half melted and there's a fucking awesome mouse house in here mice get into everything I swear Freaking horrible. It's gross. 
perfect little cubby hole for him to live in and good old rust down in there from all the mice piss but as you can see there's those two bolts in there they gotta get pulled out so you take those out first then take the other the bottom one out and then usually you take three of the top out or the two of the three of the top out and then uh i shut shut the door so it's latched close and then take the last one out and then when you open the handle you can kind of manhandle them and get them up out of the way so set next step get out of the way will be go ahead and pull these guys out it sucks there's like nowhere to put you guys you can see this really well Socket too. I'm too old for this stuff. I love parting out these cars, but man, it's getting to be a pain. I got too many other projects going on. I want to break my ratchet. This is ridiculous. Should have got the half inch for this. <laughs> Even if I put this ratchet on here, it's still not going to break it loose. power whatsoever Shoulder is not too heavy either. 
hard trying to do this when you're not I have, really having any sit either. Hot at 11 o'clock in the morning. Fuck. Guys, sometimes you might need a swivel to get the bolts out of the top three on the outside. Um, and possibly I've had to use a ratchet wrench, 15 or uh, 13 millimeter on the outside bolts. It's weird, the only two inside bolts are 15 here on the bottom, and all the rest of the outside bolts are freaking 13. Which, Absolutely makes no sense. You'd think they'd do them all the same size. so much I can't even keep my glasses on because I'm dripping everywhere. So then the next step is I do So the one thing that I never liked about these cars is you have this harness comes through here for your power windows and your power locks and there is no like plug where it just plugs in it's like a solid fucking harness and I don't understand how they even got it through there and then through there and then bolted the doors on without having some sort of connector somewhere so normally I just take my side cutters I try to pry the boot out and I'll just cut the fucking wires. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the door off first, set it on the ground, and try to pull them as far out of the car as I can and then cut them. So I'm gonna save that step again. So then the next step next step is I close I'll grab my parking bar. Grab the ratchet out of there. Close the door so it holds the door on. And then as usual, since so my phone went off, so the next step, and as usual, I didn't bring any of my stuff to sit on or
bolts are here. Another good thing, when you have the door closed, you have really good access at trying to get uh, to the wiring. So I usually just take my side cutter, poke it in, and try to pull it out. Stand up GoPro. So just get in here, you know, pop the grommet out. Ninety percent of the time, it's gonna rip. They never like really coming out, which I did rip a little hole in it, but not a big deal. I just pull it out like this as far as I can. Take my side cutters, cut it there, like so. Set my side cutters down, and the next step is not fun. But kind of got to steer. You guys can see this. Try to you open the door handle. So I'll unlatch this side. Grab it here. Pull it 
And that's how you remove or reinstall a third gen door. When putting a third gen door on, it's easiest to put this side on here, latch it, slam it closed, get over to this side, and then line it up, pull one of the bolts through the bottom, the one of the 215s, to hold it on, and then uh Start putting your other ones in, leave them loose, and then slowly, you know, work it up or down so you meet, you know, the fender properly and you get your seams right. So, it's basically the same concept on this side. Only difference on this side is, is, uh, like the screws that you've seen in the kick panel here, on that side are like nice and clean. This... You can see that. I can't see the screen on dark. You see how oh, this is eroded away. So this was the one that was down here um, in the bottom. And the head almost broke off, which would have left that in the car itself. And this one also is pretty ate up. But uh, you just unscrew those, and it's the same concept as the other side. You... Uh, you have to pull it forward past this hood latch, fold it forward, and then uh, just lift it up here at the bottom, pull it towards you, it'll come out from under this black trim piece here, and then you move to the side. Same concept, you have your three 13s up there, and then you have your 113 that goes in this way, and your 215s that go this way. Same exact concept, guys. Um, I'll probably pull these controls out of the doors. I might leave them, I don't care. Um, well, yeah. So, that there is your installation, uninstallation video on how to install or uninstall thirds in Camaro for Firebird. Why is there a broken light bulb there? There was no broken light bulb there earlier. Oh, sorry, distracted, ADD. Um, yeah, and it's hot. I'm gonna come over in the shade. So yes, that is your how-to video on how to install or uninstall third gen Camaro Firebird uh, doors. So like, subscribe, hit that share button, drop a comment down below. If you want stickers, hit me up, let me know. I'll send them to you for free. Later.